Nebula 75 update, and here they go again. Yes, the team behind Nebula 75 are hard at work on the fourth episode of their lockdown drama. This week, we're delighted to take you on an in-depth tour of the building in which the magic happens. The crew's luxurious, low-budget studio. The only licensed one of its kind in the world. This state-of-the-art facility boasts everything a production team could possibly need in order to film truly epic motion pictures. Take, for example, the extravagant three square meters of studio space. Nebula 75 makes use of the many puppets, props, and costumes that have been acquired over the years. And with each new episode, this collection grows ever larger. Fortunately, all eventualities have been anticipated, with plentiful storage space factored into the studio's unique design. The deadly danger of this week's storyline calls for atmospheric lighting of the highest order. That's no problem for this low-budget studio with its unique bookcase-based system. This ensures that whenever you want to light a set, there will always be a bookcase exactly in the place where you want to put the lamp. Moody lighting guaranteed every time. And it's not all business. An army marches on its stomach, and so too does a film crew. That's where the fully equipped on-site catering facilities come in handy. With social distancing and isolation still the order of the day, how is Nebula 75 able to boast a full cast of colorful characters, each with their own distinct voice? This is all made possible thanks to the employment of the patented low-budget audio recording system. A technology for our times, this delicately balanced, high-infidelity method for capturing sound ensures that each line of dialogue retains perfect clarity. Even a robot hopes and dreams, Doctor. This week, Commander Neptune finds himself whisked away to parts unknown by a mysterious voice from beyond. Will the Nebula 75 escape the deadly space anomaly? Will the Commander ever be reunited with his crew? Will the narrator of these documentaries ever be paid the three shillings and sixpence he was promised for his services? I wish I could tell you. No, um, really, I do, actually. I'm supposed to catch the bus home at four. Couldn't lend us 20p, could you?